Hi everybody, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys are all having a great day. This is Angel here with Angel's Heavenly Nails. And today I am doing a collaboration with two very special ladies. One is Beautiful Nails by Rose Pearl and the other one is Moon Baby Nails. Thank you ladies for letting me join in in this collaboration. I'm excited to do this. Um, after this video, I'll show you their photos and then I'll start my video on mine. Theirs are so beautiful, so check it out. I will also link their YouTube channels down in the box. I ask that you please subscribe to them. And thanks for watching this video. Let's get started. So here's what I decided to go on for my collaboration, and I hope you guys like it. If you like it, please stay tuned, and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so for today's collaboration, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using. And I discussed in this collaboration with those two lovely ladies that we keep it non-traditional. Everybody always does, um, you know, the traditional red and hearts. I said, how about we do it pink, purples, and white, and let's do roses. So in this design today, I'm going to be using, to start it off, I'm going to be using that beautiful OPI that I used in my last design. Because it has shimmers of purple in it, I figured it would be great because I'm going to be doing a, a slanted French look. And this one is that Alter Ego. Hopefully that clears up for you. Okay, and then I'm going to tip it with this beautiful Revlon paint, and it's called Charming 211. That will be on the tips and you see it's that beautiful lavender so i figured it would go so good if you if you see my finger here so i've got that lavenders in it i figured that would be beautiful together then for the leaves i'm going to be using this by apple um apple barrel the neon green and for the roses i'm going to be using this neon pink also by apple barrel and i'm going to be adding in white to both of them so that it's not so it's more opaque and then I will be using this white to do that, the Snow Titan white. I also will be using this white to do the dots and also um, be using that in, um, you know, in the white or the pink and the green, I'm sorry, to bring those down. Also, that pink will be brought down like three different shades. It'll be a darker pink to a lighter pink to a lighter pink to form that rose that I'm going to be doing. Then I will be putting this on top because I'm kind of addicted to this Northern Lights. So I'm going to top it off with the Northern Lights. Um, and then after I do that, um, there's going to be one large rose on every finger. So I'm going to add in one of those little pink rhinestones in there. And they're just plastic rhinestones. And I'm going to top it off with my sash feet. I'm going to be using the brushes that I always use. Let me get these out for you guys. I think I'm only going to be using this one, my uh, 18 over 0. And again, I've cut this brush. I remember that. I got these from Hobby Lobby. And I might use this one, my 0 brush, number 0 get it there number zero yep and I've also cut that maybe for the leaves so but I'll know more at the end but anyways so yeah I've got one coat going right now of that alter ego and I'm gonna do another coat of that and I'm gonna start to do that slanted French and I'll be back to show you some of those so I've got the alter ego on and I've got two coats of that beautiful purple that one that was called charming I left one finger open to show you but I'm doing that slant with it and it's a real beautiful bluish lavender. It's not showing the true color on here. I can see this. It's not showing the true, true, true color of this, but very beautiful. So I left one open to show you. Here's both hands right now. And I'm doing the slant slanting towards the inside and the thumbs I did slanting towards the actual finger. So if you look at the two together, see how it slants you know, to each other. Then the other hand, I had them going the other way and the thumb going that way. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. I'm just taking the paint and I'm coming to this very corner here where my nail bed, like where the length of it would start, and I just slide my finger across. And then I just paint this in here. And this is just the one coat so far, as you see. The other ones are darker. And then I cap the end here. And yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. So it's pretty simple to do that. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to go on to the next step and that will be the leaves. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, I've done two coats of that uh, light purple on the tips and then I also top coated with sesh feet. I always do that before I start my design. That way if I make a mistake, 
it's so much easier to take it off. You just use a little alcohol or use a little water or whatever, and then you don't mess up your design. That way you don't have to start over and do your whole design. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. This is what I've got so far, and now I'm gonna start the leaves. I'm gonna get a few of those done, and I'll be back to show you what I'm doing. So here's the three colors I've poured out, and I have not added the white into it yet, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm gonna take a little white, and I'm gonna add it into the green here. Just a little scoop of it, so it keeps the, the green still nice and bright. But you see now it's more opaque compared to that when it goes on the nail. So there's that, and then I'm going to take a scoop of it and add it over to the pink here. Same thing. And get that down so it's more opaque. And then I'm also going to add a little bit more here because I'm going to make it even lighter now. So we're going to have different shades of that pink to make the rose. So now you see there's another shade difference. And then I'm going to add a little bit more in right here and make it even lighter. So I've got three different shades of pink I'm going to be working with to do those roses. So I just wanted to show you that. In the green, I want to add just a little bit more over here because I like when the flower has that swirl look of the color when you do, or the, I'm sorry, the leaves. I like when you don't mix it as much and you got that swirl, and I'll show you that as I'm going along here. So I will be right back. I'm going to get a few of these done. Okay, so I'm back, and I've got most of my leaves on. I've left this finger open, this one, and my thumb, and I left one on this hand to show you how I'm doing this. I decided to go with, <clears throat> like I said from the beginning, that zero one for the leaves. That's working much better because it's a nice long uh, brush. So I dip it in the green, and here's what I do. I lay it down in this French and I just lay it down and I pull out like that. A little bit more paint, I come down a little ways and pull out. And then I lay it down again, and isn't that nice and bright? See what that white does? And then pull it down again, because you're following along the line of the French. So you just go like this till you get to the end of it and then pull out. Then what I do, <clears throat> very sorry about that. Then what I do is I go over these lines that I pulled out and I make kind of like an almond shape, just come around and go like this to make the leaf and then just pull out again. Same thing, I'm just gonna come over here, just make this a little bit more as a leaf. So that's what I do then. Then I'll come over to this one and just pull out a little bit more like that, almost like you're just kind of rounding it to make it look more like a leaf. So see, when you start your design, you just draw your lines and then you've got that and then you make your leaf. So I'll leave that in like that. I'll show you another one on this thumb. So again, I'm just gonna, let's see if I can line this up for you. I'm just gonna set my brush down. You let the brush do all the work. Set it down, pull. Get a little bit more paint, set it down, pull. Again, go like this, set it down, pull. And one more, cause I'm gonna go to the end there, set it down and pull. Now you see your design there. See how it looks so pretty even like that. You could just leave it like that, but I want my leaves on it. So I'm gonna go around my lines that I made and just kind of round it a little bit like that to make it a leaf. This one here, I'll go on this side of it. And just kind of filling in. It's just so much easier to do your leaf. That way it gives you a little bit more, you know, play. And then I'm gonna go on this side and again, just round around like this and pull out. And then see, you got your beautiful leaves then. Now I'm gonna show you on my other hand, my non-dominant, how I do it with that. I work with the brush a little bit different. So let's see if I can keep in frame here. So I'm just gonna set the brush down, same way again, pull out, set it down again, pull out, get more paint, set it down, pull, and one more to uh, finish off that French and go like that. See, isn't that pretty? And then I'm gonna go over it again now to make these leaves, just go around the edge here. We get a little bit more green, a little bit more white in that, and just go like that. Go to this small one here and make that a leaf by just kind of making it like an almond shape and then just give it a little pull and that's what gives it the look of the leaf. So, and then again, just kind of round this one a little bit. Hope you can see that. I know it's harder to see this one, I'm sorry. So, but yeah, that's how I'm doing it. So, let me show you here. Both hands with these beautiful leaves on it. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to let that dry up, and then I'm going to start putting the roses on it. Be right back. 
Okay, so I've got most of my roses on. I've left two fingers open to show you. And you can see right now, it almost looks like it's a full rose right now, but I'm gonna add more into it. But see how you swirl the color, how it could be just like this and you could leave it like that. And I'll show you what I'm doing. If somebody wanted to leave it like this, you could. And then I carried out petals going down. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. I'm dipping into my darkest color, but it's got white in it, if you see this. My darkest color here, it's got white in all of them. You can see that that's what's giving it that look of a rose. So what you do is you just dip into your paint and I'm using that 18 over zero brush, that brown one. So you just get a nice little amount of paint on it and then you just come up to the your nail and just go like that. Set your brush down and roll to one side. I'm gonna grab a little more paint. Roll to this side. You are not making a circle but somewhat like that, but you're doing like petals of a, of a rose. So how I'm doing that, you know, just going back and forth, like swaying like that, going around like that, it already is getting the shape of a rose. You see that? So somebody could just do it like this and just leave it just like that. And it, people would, you know, think it's a rose. So, but I'm going to put extra lines inside, but yeah, you just keep playing with it till you get what you like. And you just want it to look like a pretty rose. So there you go like that. Take the same color and carry out and just make a couple petals. So that's what I'm doing. Let me get a little bit more with the white in it and just carry it out. And then I'm gonna carry one more out. Like the petals are falling off the rose. So see that? Now you could just leave it right there and be done, but I'm not gonna leave it like that. I made this one a little bigger than the other ones. So let's see if I can kind of bring that in a little bit. I didn't want it so big there. So what's nice about working with acrylic paints is you can work with it till you get exactly what you're looking for. Just kind of clean that up a little bit so I can make that rose a little bit smaller. So yeah, so that looks better there. So I'm gonna leave it right there. And don't worry that you're overlapping your leaves. That's what you want. When roses grow in a garden, they don't care how they grow over the leaves. So to go over the leaves is fine. I'm gonna show you the other hand working with my non-dominant. Dip in your darkest color that you've made with your white. And again, just set your brush down and just kind of go like this. Like you are kind of going in a circle, but you're swaying it so that it looks, you know, like petals instead of a round circle. So that's what you want. And then just till you get what exactly what you want for your rose. And I'm gonna go a little bit more over here and then leave it right there. Then I'm just gonna bring down two petals of the rose, just kind of like a little tiny leaf or a little almond shape. That's all I'm doing. So you see how I carried that out. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the inside of these flowers now. Now I'm gonna go to the second color, which is my, my one that I made. I'll show you right here. See that, that's the lighter one. Now I'm gonna go into that one. I'm gonna get very little amount on the brush now and I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna start in the middle and I make like a little C, kind of like a C, like that. Then I go like this and come around and come around. Just go in certain spots and just keep coming around with it. And you see now how that formed the rose, see that? Now that looks more like a rose. That's what I'm going for. So I'll go to the next one, I'll show you one more. Go in the middle and make your C. And then around it, just start making your little lines. And you just need a few of them, but as you do that, then you see what happens now. It makes a rose then. See, isn't that much prettier? And I forgot to show you through the, the leaves. I'm just going to add just a little line into it. Same thing in here. Just a little line of the lighter pink there, like that. So I'm going to finish up here, and I will get to the next one. I think I might add a little bit of a lighter pink in there too, but I think I might leave it right here. But I'll be right back after the nails are all done. Okay, so I did decide to go ahead and go with that lighter color too. The last one I made, that real, real, real light one right there, I'm going with that one, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I dip in, and now I'm getting even less paint, and then I'm gonna go like this, and I'm just gonna go in between where the, the lightest pink was, go like this, and just go around, just to add it a little bit of highlight. That's all I'm doing now is kinda highlighting it, so now it really looks like a rose. You see it, whoops, see that? So, I'll show you the next one. This one here, I'm just gonna go into it like that, around, and again, we're just adding just a little bit to kinda highlight it, and then, oh, I forgot to go through the leaves too, just go through the leaves, just a little bit more, just to give it a little highlight. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish up here, and then I'm gonna come back on and show you the Northern Lights on it. 
or the dots, I'm sorry. I completely forgot I'm doing white dots on this too. I'll be back to do that. But I decided here before I do the dots, I wanted to show you guys. My two middle fingers, I made the roses a little tiny bit bigger. If you see that, just to kind of emphasize, just one of the flowers is a little bigger. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dip into my white, just plain old white. And I'm just going to come onto the purple here because we have to have white in our design too. And I'm just going to put pretty little dots just wherever in the white design. Doesn't matter about that, but I wanted to have the dots because I said the color was supposed to be pink, purple, and white. So to finish out my design, I'm just going to add in dots. And it doesn't matter. Just get a little paint on your brush and just set it down. Doesn't matter if they're bigger, or smaller. Doesn't matter, you're just adding your dots in. And that really makes the design pretty. I think it really enhanced it. So with the one I decided to go with, I really like this. So yeah, it's pretty simple how to do that. You're just setting your brush down lightly and just putting in your dots. Isn't that pretty and cute? I really think it is. So yeah, I'm glad that I got to do this with these ladies. This was a lot of fun. And it's my very first collaboration. So if I didn't do it right by the way I loaded the photos or talked about their... Um, YouTube channel or whatnot. I apologize for that because this is my very first collaboration, but I was excited to do it and um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed doing this with these two ladies. Ladies, thank you so much for that. Your guys' designs are beautiful and I loved looking at them. So, but yeah, so this is what I decided to go with and or with the way I wanted the dots in there and now I'm going to let this dry up and I'll be back to show you that Northern Lights. So yeah, I've got the um, northern lights on now and the rhinestones on, and all I have left to do is top coat with my sesh feet. Please excuse my table here. It's a little bit dirty when I'm working with all these acrylic paints, but I just wanted to tell you guys something about this northern lights that I love. Look at this. What I love so much about this and can be used in so many designs, many could do it on any one of your manicures, but what I love about it is you don't lose your design that you do. You don't lose it because it's such a micro glitter that you don't lose your design at all. Yet it is so micro glitter and so beautiful and sparkly. And then in some lights, you don't even barely see it. That's what I love about it. And this is the silver version and they make it in a gold. And I just recommend to anybody who's never tried this before to please go and get it and try it out. You will absolutely love it and be addicted as much as I am and everybody else that uses this. They're just addicted to it. It's just stunning and beautiful. I absolutely love it. So, but anyways, I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to top coat with my sash feet and then I will be back with the end product. Okay, so I'm all done and I really love the way this one turned out. This is a collaboration with two very lovely ladies. I want to thank you for that. I want to wish you both a very happy Valentine's Day and everybody else. I'm glad that I decided on a non-traditional look so that it will be pretty after Valentine's Day, but so pretty for Valentine's Day because a lot of people just do the red in the hearts. I just wanted something different. I love the way this one turned out. It's very elegant and very pretty. And so is the other two ladies. I hope you go in and check out their videos. And I thank you again, ladies, for letting me do this with you. Thank you guys for watching this video and have a wonderful evening. Stay tuned for my next design. Thank you.